Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you a delicious Christmas breakfast in your Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and I love cooking things in my Instant Pot. Now if you don't have an Instant Pot, don't worry. I have a recipe for you that you can cook it in your oven, but if you wanna try some new fun recipes in your Instant Pot, this one is a perfect one. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and push that little bell because every Monday I'm sharing with you a new Instant Pot recipe. So if you are getting an Instant Pot or if you have an Instant Pot, come follow along. I am sharing all kinds of tips and tricks and of course, recipes. All right, you guys, let's head on into the kitchen, over to the Instant Pot, and I'll show you how to make this delicious Christmas breakfast. Now I'm calling this my monkey pull apart bread, but my mom calls it ooey gooey butterscotch pull apart. So we're gonna start with six tablespoons of butter, one cook and serve butterscotch jello. Now this is the 3.5 ounce and you have to get the cook and serve so it will work the best. Then you have one half cup of chopped pecans and then onto one half cup of brown sugar. And the last thing to make this recipe is that you need 16 frozen rolls. Now these are Parker House rolls. I also like to get the Rhodes rolls. So what you're gonna do is put them in the bag or put them in a plastic bag and let them thaw. Now usually if you bake this in the oven, you're gonna cook it in a bunt pan, but my bunt pan does not fit in my Instant Pot. You can get some that fit in Instant Pots and they can work, but because mine doesn't fit, I'm gonna use this two-tiered pan um, I'll put a link in the description for you. This two-tiered pan is one of my most favorite things to have. All right, hi Sarah. We are going to melt the butter, that's the very first step, and you're gonna push that aside. So next I'm gonna spray my pans with cooking spray or with Pam. You wanna coat them really well on the bottom so your sauce doesn't stick. Next you're gonna split up your pecans. Half A fourth cup will go in one and a fourth a cup will go in the other pan. Now we're moving on to the rolls. Now I let mine rise a little too much. You want them, you get them out when they're frozen and then you just want them to be thawed that you can cut them easily. If they get too sticky, that means they've thawed a little too long, but that's okay, they'll still work. So I'm going to cut each roll into fourths. Then you're gonna start filling up your pans. So I did eight rolls in one pan and eight rolls in the other one. So yes, these are really sticky. So the less thawed they are, the less sticky they're gonna be. All right, I've got eight rolls that I've cut up into fourths and I've put into the pan. So now I'm ready to add half the package of pudding mixture. So I just use my hands and just kind of measure with my fingers and pour about half of the package in. You want to spread it around the best that you can and cover all the rolls. If you don't get all of them, that's okay. It will still taste really well once the pressure hits it and everything will combine well together. All right, we're gonna add our brown sugar into our butter and then just mix that up really well. All right, so when that mixture is all mixed together pretty well, you're going to pour half of it on top of your rolls. Now you don't have to be too worried that it's not spread around perfectly because it's actually gonna seep down into the bottom. All right, let's hurry and do this other pan. I cut up my rolls, I'm gonna put on my pudding then you just wanna spoon on the other half of the butter and sugar mixture. Now when you're all done, you're just gonna put the lid on top. Now these pans come with a little handy dandy thing that will help you lower it into the Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna connect it and we are ready to go. <laughs> so in my Instant Pot, I'm just gonna add one cup of water and then I'm going to lower my pans into the pot. So go ahead and put your lid on and turn it and make sure that the little knob is on sealing, not venting. So now I'm gonna go down to manual, or if you don't have a manual button, it's the pressure cook button on your right hand lower side. And we are gonna go up to 30 minutes. This one says 20, but it really is 30. I had to cook it a little bit longer. Now when it's all done, go ahead and do the quick release. So you turn your little knob, and when it's done letting its pressure out, go ahead and lift the lid off. All right, I'm gonna take my pan out of my other pan and go ahead and try and dump as much water off the lid as possible. Now this is gonna be really hot, so make sure you use a hot pad. And yeah, it is done. Now you can see the caramel went all the way to the bottom. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. 
Now I call it caramel, but it really is a butterscotch mixture, which is so delicious. All right, I'm going to flip this for you so you can see how awesome it looks. Now, if you have a bunt pan, you would put a plate on and flip it with these little guys. I did the same thing. I just put my plate on it and flipped it over so you can see all the good stuff. So when your pan is upside down, make sure you knock on it to get it all the way off of the bottom of the pan. And there you have it. Now, if it's stuck a little bit to the bottom of the pan, you can take a fork or spoon, go ahead and scrape that off and put it right back on to your little Christmas monkey bread. Now I'm gonna try and show you a closer look because this is just gooey and delicious and perfect for a Christmas morning breakfast. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. And don't forget, if you're new here, subscribe to this channel and push the little bell so you can get the notifications every time I post a new recipe or video to YouTube. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.